Hi, Lucy. We're going to continue our study on leaving a legacy of honor based on 2 Timothy chapter 2, which was the last letter that the Apostle Paul wrote shortly before he was beheaded in 67 AD. We're going to take a spin off the theme of Route 66, which in the United States was a road that traveled from California all the way across the country. And we're going to look at some historic old cars just for fun and kind of play it into um, the study. So get your keys out. Let's get ready to roll and hope you enjoy the study. God bless. As we look once again at this topic of becoming a vessel for honor, let's look at the key text. But in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, he will be a vessel for honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. 2 Timothy 2, verses 20 and 21. Today, we'll focus in on being useful for the master. Here in the United States, a vehicle is a very needful and useful tool that we use every day as part of our American way of life. We use it to get to work, we use it to get to school, to go to doctor's appointments, grocery store, for recreation. It's something that we need and is very useful. And vehicles come in many shapes, sizes, colors, models, but the most important part of the vehicle is not what you see outward, outwardly, but it's what is hidden inside, inside that motor. It, the, the vehicle could be the most beautiful car in the world, but if when you open the hood, there's no motor or the motor is in bad condition, no matter how beautiful it is from the outside, that vehicle is not going to function the way it's meant to function. The same way with us. We could look a certain way on the outside and we could go through different um, traditions and routines, um, you know, as far as our Christianity goes. But really what counts is what's under the hood, what's inside of us, the motor that it keeps us connected. And in John chapter 15, verse 5, Jesus says, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. So to be useful for the Lord, the first and most important part is our own personal relationship with Christ. It's not what people see outwardly, but it's that hidden part within the heart where we are to maintain our relationship with the Lord that will make us useful for him. Another very important part of the vehicle is the steering wheel. We need to hold on to that so that we can maintain direction in the same way the scripture tells us to hold on to certain things so that we can maintain direction. Paul tells Timothy in the book of 2 Timothy, he tells Timothy, hold on to the sound words of doctrine that he was given. If we veer off of correct doctrine, it can take us in a completely different course. So Paul tells them there in 2 Timothy 1 through 13, he tells them to hold on to the words that he'd given him He's, and that that doctrine maintains a balance between faith and love and it guides us and it it prevents us from going off the cliff into some kind of false teaching so hold on to correct doc doctrine paul also tells timothy to hold on to the good deposit that was placed in him god has put something in you he's put something in me and we're to hold on to it and let it become something that we can use and make us useful for the kingdom of God. And he also tells him to hold on to the destiny that God has given him. God has called each one of us with a holy calling. And there in, in 2 Timothy chapter 1, um, Paul tells Timothy that he was called with a holy calling. And he was called to this calling even before the beginning of time. What has God called you to? Hold on to doctrine. Hold on to the deposit that God has put in 
inside of you and hold on to the calling that God has given you. One more thing that makes a vehicle useful, it could have the best motor, it could have a great steering wheel, tires, everything else, but one thing all vehicles need, they need gasoline to get them to go. The gasoline is the power that energizes them for movement. In the book of Ephesians chapter 5, 18, it tells us, do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation. That means like a slow leak, but rather be filled with the spirit. And if we want to be useful for the Lord, then we have to have our tanks filled with his power and his energy. That means every day going before his presence and filling up our tank. We don't want to run on empty because we won't get very far. But if we fill up on his word, on a prayer, communion with him, then we're going to be ready for whatever road trip he puts us on and to be able to get to our destiny with success and be able to be used by him in a great way.